Hi everyone, so new video series where we're going to talk about the T5 Defender over there that we're about to start building with the 55 kilowatt battery pack and the Model 3 motor which you can see there. Um, so I thought I'd show you by, well start off by showing you how it's going to look at the end. So this is a um, 80s odd Defender um, with the exact same kit in it so there's a Tesla motor under there somewhere. 55 kilowatts worth of battery pack up the front. This is pretty much done. You can see it still needs a little bit of covering on the fuse boxes there. A little bit of wiring needs sorting out. But she's basically ready to go. Um, this Range Rover's got exactly the same system. So 55 box up the front. You can see that's a little bit less done with all this wiring out. Um, but it's in its finishing touches as well. This is a series one that's getting a different um, different thing altogether. But we're gonna focus a video series on this 1999 TD5, which is pretty smart actually, very original it seems from first glance. That's the TD5 lump. Um, I think this was one of the first years that they were putting them in. Pretty good engine, we like them. You know, I've got two defenders that were running on them. Um, this one's got a galv chassis, as you can see in there. It's pretty smart. It's just come back from a sort of light mechanical resto. Um, so they did things like brakes, brake lines, um, bushes, little, little bits like that. Um, just before we get started, because there's no point doing it afterwards when they have to deal with high voltage, etc. So we get all that done first. So Ryan is about to start whipping that out, um, get the fuel tank out, which is under in the back, exhaust, the rad pack will come out, because all of that stuff's gonna get replaced, and then it will join the graveyard over here um, of, well, old engines that people are supposed to be buying and coming to pick up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get that thing stripped and we'll show you part way through um, and show you the big part of stuff that comes out. So let's get on with it. Ryan has been busy now for two days um, getting the TD5 apart and I wanted to show what has come out of it because it is a ridiculous pile as we can see all of this on the floor here is all stuff that well basically runs on diesel um, rather than batteries and electric motors so this huge pile consists of TD5 engine that's basically a I think it's a two and a half litre diesel. Um, big manual gearbox there, which has got a transfer case attached to it, which is what sends drive to the front and the back. Uh, there's a handbrake on the back there. Uh, and then there's lots of little things you don't really think about, like the, the gearbox tunnel, um, air boxes, radiators are here. That's a massive fuel tank that sat under the back. All the exhaust system is here under trays, that's the old heater box. So, starter motor, filters, pipes, tubes, all kinds of rubbish, um, as well as these two massive, well, engine and, and, engine and gearbox. So we've now got a bare shell TD5. Now this is what that looks like. You can see the nice galv chassis in there, um, worth making it a good one, ultimately. And in here, things have been tidied up, so things like the bulkhead have been sprayed black, just to get it looking a little bit smart before we start. Things we've left in are the um, power steering box. Now we have taken off, obviously, the pipe work to it, because that will go to an electric power steering pump. We've still got the original um, brake system. Obviously, the clutch system next to it is now gone. Uh, so that's all still in there because that will be boosted with the 12V brake vac um, kit. You can see under in the gearbox tunnel there's nothing apart from a rear diff down the back there. And obviously a front diff there. They'll get restored once we've finished uh, when she gets her new springs. So excuse the little bit of surface rust on them. Inside there's also a lot that goes on. As we can see we've got no gearbox tunnel anymore. Um, and we're going to basically be putting a flat floor in there, which means you can basically put three seats in the front and means you can get your feet on the floor without having wrestling with the gear stick. 
the dash is out, so all the dials are out of there. Um, so they're ready for new speed hut gauges to go into. And uh, they're actually sitting here, so none of this can get used anymore because all the original ECU and stuff is no longer in there. Underneath things will look pretty tidy because there's no fuel tank down the back there. There's just basically nothing in it, which is really nice. So that is our very first stage, ultimately. Um, it's about a two day job, as I said before. Really, it's not huge in the grand scheme of things. A lot of clients come to us and say, what if I strip the engine out? Is that gonna make it a lot cheaper? I say no, because it's two days of work. And if you really wanna do all of this work, then be my guest. But we're also gonna salvage a couple of parts from here. So we're gonna use the old heater box there and just put an electric element in it. Um, so just let us do it, it's a hell of a lot easier. Um, but yeah, good job to Ryan. And we will see you in the next episode when we start putting things back into the car.